So if we can dive into, uh, we've already been doing it, but if we can dive into more difficult territory. So uh, 2020 had the tragic case of George Floyd. When you reflect on the protests, on the racial tensions over the death of George Floyd, how do you make sense of it all? Uh, what do you take away from these events? Look, the George Floyd moment occurred, occurred at, at at an historical um, moment where people were uh, in um, quarantine for COVID um, and people um, have these uh, cell phones to a degree greater than we've ever had them before. And this was a sort of the straw that broke the camel's back after a number of these sorts of cell phone videos uh, surfaced, people were fed up. Uh, they There was unimpeachable uh, evidence of um, a form of, of mistreatment, whether it constitutes murder or manslaughter. There, the trial is going on now, and jurors will figure that out, but, but there was widespread appreciation that uh, a fellow human being was was mistreated, that uh, we were just talking about humanity, that there was um, not a sufficient recognition of this person's uh, humanity. The common humanity of this person. The yeah. common humanity of this person, well, well said. And people were fed up. So we were already in this COVID space where we uh, were exercising care for one another uh, and it, it, there was just an explosion, the likes of which this country hasn't seen since the you know civil rights uh, uh, protests of the 1950s and 1960s. And people uh, simply said, enough, 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 enough. This has to stop. We cannot treat uh, fellow citizens in, in this way and we can't do it with impunity. And the young people said, we're just we're just we're not going to. Stand for it anymore, and they took to the streets.